I'm joined now by Han Hua from Beijing. She's a fellow at the Chongyang Research Institute. So, Han Hua, explain to us how Valentine's Day is celebrated in China. As our correspondent Francis Ko said, we know no pears, no umbrellas, no watches or clocks. Uh, those are not good gifts to give. Uh, uh, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, happy the day of love. Yes, in China, there are certain new ceremonies in terms of uh, the celebration, the day of love with Chinese characteristics. In my observation, when I log onto the uh, WeChat, the equivalent of Twitter and the Snapchat combined this morning, I saw so many warm and sweet moments, not only to say love, and appreciation to the better half of his or hers. But it's certainly a kind of rich extension to a wider circle, including the teachers, including the uh, working colleagues, including the other partners in their daily life, in their daily work. So it's a kind of extension of love and appreciation, utilizing the day of love to express your appreciation. And, and the second is definitely a commercialization and monetize of Valentine's Day in China, just like the other Western festivals to be celebrated in China. It's a good business opportunities for hotels, for online sites, for shopping centers, for, for restaurants as well, to, to celebrate this special day. And also a particular interesting phenomenon in China, I don't know whether it has the same thing in the Western countries, but in China, this day, especially for this year, is the last working day of the year of rooster in terms of the lunar year counting. So people can rush to the registration office to register their love by, you know, register as couples. So uh, the officials at the relative government agencies are expecting many couples to, uh, to register uh, this uh, today. Well, you know, here in the United States, there's almost an expectation. I don't want to use the word pressure, but there is a certain expectation and anticipation that couples should go out, you know, send flowers and give gifts. Do you think Chinese face the same kind of pressures on Valentine's Day that Americans face? Uh, I think it's a kind of growing pressure uh, in, terms of, in terms of, you know, going out to, to have a luxury dinner and to send and receive flowers or even luxury gifts uh, for the other half. Definitely, it is going to be that direction because of the, the commercial meaning the Valentine's Day has been added by the, the, by the business sector. All right, we'll leave it there, and happy Valentine's Day to you, Han Wa.